temptation is a, is a trap. Okay. Re avoid it. Resist it. Flee from it. Don't purposely put yourself in a situation where you already know that you will be tempted to sin. Temptation may be attractive to the eye, appealing to the flesh, and desirable to the ego. But in the end, it will mess you up, leading you down the path of sin. It will leave you thinking, why did I do that? Look where it got me. Therefore, avoid it, resist it, flee from it. And keep fighting the, keep fighting the good fight of faith. It is, it will take you down. Temptation will take you down to walk in disobedience to God. And that's not where you want to go. Although temptation is not a sin. Remember, it is not a sin to receive temptation, but it is a sin to surrender and act on it. It is a sin to surrender and act on it. Okay, Jesus was tempted, yet never sinned. Okay, and in Hebrews chapter 4, verse, verses 14 through 15, it says, Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our pro let us hold fast our profession, for we have not for we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted, like as we are, yet without sin. It should be not taken lightly. Okay, temptation should not be taken lightly. Temptation is, is often strongest when we are at our weakest. In fact, the longer we allow it to brew in our thoughts, the more dangerous temptation becomes. Do not let it become a stronghold in your mind. When you receive a, a temptation, rebuke it. Cancel the assignment. It's not enough just to rebuke it. You've got to cancel the assignment. You've got to cancel the attack. You've got to utilize your angels. And that the angels only encamp around those who are in obedience to Christ. Therefore, we must learn to recognize our, to, excuse me, sorry. Therefore, we must learn to recognize temptation, okay, and keep it in check, okay. Oh, my goodness, one second. In fact, in fact, on the longer we allow to brew in our thoughts, let me reread that. The, in fact, the longer we uh, let it brew in our thoughts, the more dangerous temptation becomes, okay? Therefore, and uh, therefore, you must learn to recognize your, your temptation, the one thing you're struggling with, okay? And keep it in check or get something out of your way, okay? Lift that, okay? If, if, if a friend may be the cause of that, remove that friend out of your life for now, okay? Sorry, I rebuke that attack. I speak the blood of Jesus in my eyes right now. I speak the blood of Jesus in my eyes right now. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. There we go. Praise the Lord. Um, where was I? Okay. No one is immune to it. And the devil is very good at finding our weakest points and seducing us with them. Therefore, it is a key to know uh, the different tactics to resist temptation. Okay. Pray. Pray, pray, pray. That's the thing. The night he was betrayed, Jesus was betrayed. Jesus prayed in the garden of Gethany. And he told Peter to pray so that you will not fall into temptation. And Mark 14, uh, verse 38, it says, Watch ye and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. The spirit is truly ready. Okay, the spirit is truly ready, but the flesh is weak. Okay. Also, in the Lord's Prayer, Jesus taught us to pray. Okay, that we... Would not be led into temptation, as it says in Mar or Matthew 6.13. And Luke 11, verse 4, it says in Matthew 6.13, And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. From Deliver us from, the, from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. Yet, we do when we do fall into temptation, we know that God is faithful. Okay, God is faithful, and He will not let us to be tempted beyond that we can bear. Okay, and He will provide us with a way out, as it is written in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. It says, There hath no temptation taken you, 
but such as is common to men. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but with, but, uh, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. Okay? The Word of God. The Word of God has always been our best defense. Okay? It is sharper than any two-edged sword. Praise the Lord. Amen. Okay? Um, it, 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 God's, God's, God, uh, the Word of God has always been our best defense against Satan's temptations. Okay? And the better we know His Word, the easier it will be, uh, the easier it will be to claim victory over our daily struggles. Uh, this, um, in Psalms 19, or excuse me, 119 verse 11, it says, I have hidden your word in my heart that I may not sin against you. Okay, it says in Psalm 119, uh, 119 verse 11. Okay, I have hidden your word in my in, in my heart that I may not sin against you. Okay, make sure that you do all you can. Sorry, just give me one second. Um, yeah, just want to make sure I got a next song. Paul Wilbur is a great artist. Definitely recommend him. If you have not listened to him, he is one of... Um, one of the best singers I've heard. Okay. Of course. Of course. Ads. You know. There we go. Alright. So let me reread that. Okay. The word of God has always been our best defense against Satan's temptation. And the better we know his word, the easier we become to, to claim victory over our daily struggles. Okay, it says, and again, in Psalm 19, verse 11, it says, it says, I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. When Christ was tempted by Satan in the desert, the first thing he did was quote the scripture. Okay, he's quoted the scripture. He said in Matthew chapter 4, verse um, 4, verse 10. Okay, but, she's, uh, but he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God, then the devil take him, uh, taketh him up into the holy city, and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple, and saith unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou shalt dash thy foot against a stone. And that is one. See how Satan twists scripture. So don't twist scripture, lest ye be like Satan. Okay. Uh, Jesus said unto him, verse 7, Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Again, the devil taketh him up into exceeding high mountain, and sheweth him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them. And he and saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then G And then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God in him, only shalt thou serve. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay. So, which of, that scripture eventually caused the devil to leave him. Okay. Again, it is not a sin to receive temptation, but it is a sin to surrender to it. Do not, you got to take things out of your way that might, what might cause you to be tempted. Okay. So, trust in God. Trust in God and lean not unto your own understanding. Okay, trust in your spirit, not your flesh. Trust in your spirit. As it's written, the spirit lusts against the flesh, and the flesh against the spirit. The spirit is truly willing, but the flesh is weak.